Hi, Dr. Jill Krista here. I just wanted to reassure everybody that even though you've been stuck at home now, that there are lots of things that you probably already have in your kitchen that can help you if you've been affected by mold to protect you from coronavirus. And one of those is the plant sage. So here we have some fresh sage. That's pretty fancy. Most people probably just have dried sage in their kitchen. So I'm gonna show you how to make a sage tea gargle. It's been shown to be antiviral and guess what? Antifungal, so it protects you from mold. So real quick, if you have the fresh stuff, the conversion is about a tablespoon of fresh equals about a teaspoon of dried. This is not dried cut and sifted, this is powdered, so it'll even take a little less powdered to get the same effect. So the way to make the powdered sage is so easy. You take about a teaspoon of the dried sage. I like to put it in a strainer because I don't like to drink green stuff. You just add that to a teacup and you measure out about a cup and a half. Actually, a cup would probably be stronger. We're making this stronger than drinkable tea because we're gonna be using this as a garlic. So when you get that in, you wanna make sure to cover to keep all the essential oils in your cup. With the fresh sage, same thing, very easy. You can use a teapot, you can use Pyrex. I put a Pyrex here because that works just as fine, a little measuring cup, glass measuring cup. You just pull the sage leaves off. Technically, in recipes, you'll see this is referred to as chopped, but I don't think plants really like to be cut with knives, so I'm just going to tear. And like we said, that's about, we're going for about a tablespoon of fresh for a little less than a teaspoon of dried. I'm gonna put another few in there. Oh, I wish you guys could be here. You smell how wonderful this smells. And I'm going to tear the bigger leaves to expose more to the water. And when we crunch it in there, I'm getting closer to my tablespoon. I probably could put a few more, but for time, just to give you an idea of how this works, then you add your cup of water. This is steaming hot boiling water. Add that to whatever it is you're going to be making the tea in that has a cover. Let these sit for five to 10 minutes, strain them out. So we'll do that with this one. And just to give you an idea how dark this tea will look, let it cool to a temper uh, temperature that's comfortable to garlic. Garlic, gargle. <laughs> and then you gargle with sage tea. The nice thing about this one is you can swallow it. So you gargle and gulp gargle and gulp, and that helps protect you against both fungus and viruses. That's it for today.